Stupid. Oh, Hello folks and welcome to the Dead Pit Pit Stop here on HorrorChannel.com. I'm the Creepy Kentuckian. And I'm Uncle Bill. And we're from Dead Pit's Horror Talk Radio Show. And this week we're going to take a look at a new film from our good friends at the Weinstein Company. Yeah, this is Hannibal Rising, which has garnered its share of criticism because it's the prequel to Silence of the Lambs. It's the, it's the new unrated edition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems like every movie that comes out nowadays is un unrated. Yeah, and there's really no reason in the world for this to be an unrated edition, actually. But to give you a little background, this is a, a film directed by Peter Weber, who brought us the classic The Girl with the Pearl Earring. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's it's a classic you know, story piece there. But it is the story of a young Hannibal who grows up in the war-torn region of Lithuania and mm. witnesses a very traumatic event in his life when a group of soldiers actually cannibalize his sister and from then on he's kind of scarred with uh, having dreams about the whole incident and trying to figure out exactly you know what's going on within him he's having these strange feelings so he gets kicked out of a boarding school I believe and uh, enters a little home a little wayward home with this woman that used to know his uncle it was his aunt I guess yeah it was, it was married to his yeah uncle. it was either his uncle's wife or something to that effect I can't remember exactly but from then on, he kind of takes a real liking to her, so to speak. And they, <laughs> they develop a Can't relationship. Can't blame him for that. Can't blame him for that. And he decides to try to hunt down all the people, all the soldiers that had something to do with the death of his sister. It's a revenge picture, uh -huh. pretty much. It's a lot different than all the other uh, Hannibal films, I think. Uh, it's a little long. I'll, I'll say it's that. Two it's two hours and 11 minutes long, yeah. I think. And uh, for a horror film, that's pretty excessive, even for a dramatic horror film. Yeah, I'm not positive what the budget was on this film, but it, it did have like an epic scale to it, I think. And uh, yeah. it's, like a lot of the Hannibal movies, it's not totally a horror film, um, but it's really good. I really did enjoy it. My only complaint is the length. It was a little too long. Yeah, and a lot of the production values on the film I thought were really a lot better than they should have been. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was expecting it to be kind of chancy, but even in the war sections of the film they're showing the the combat action is pretty good yeah and i mean it's surprising because it's produced by dino de Laurentiis. yeah okay. and if you don't know who that is yeah he's, <laughs> look him up he's notorious for productions and production values and that kind of that kind of thing but the only thing that i have complaining with this film other than the fact that it is a little bit too long and there's certain parts in it where you can tell they could really trim it down if they wanted to they could have edited it a little bit better was i didn't really like the lead character that played Hannibal and I'm thinking his name's something that I couldn't pronounce even yeah, he's some anyway. foreign guy. I believe he's German yeah but I I thought that his he was trying to play it a little bit subdued like kind of like a little bit even more subdued than Anthony Hawkins played it and it just came off kind of like uncharismatic and boring I thought. So well I, I didn't think he was that bad I mean he think I mean he had to fill some pretty big shoes you know replacing Anthony Hopkins. Yeah so. I just think they should have gave the guy a little bit more dialogue to play with and they actually did mm -hmm. he basically just went around looking trying to look menacing all the time yeah. which you know that's got its place too but. but you know even though there's not a lot of horror in the movie there's some pretty gruesome scenes gruesome death scenes stuff like that um for the diehard horror fan you may not like it but you know for just a, if you want a good movie i would recommend you checking it out it's surprisingly really good i mean i yeah. you know after watching the original hannibal film from a few years ago I, I vowed to myself that I would never watch another one of these movies, and I'm glad I watched this one because it really is pretty good. And if you like films like Saw even, you would probably like this movie because some of the ways that he comes up with killing these people are much like the torture devices that Jigsaw comes up with in the Saw mm -hmm. series. They're very kind of extravagant in that way, the way that he dispatches a lot of these people. So, yeah, it's not as bad as everyone would have you to believe. I know a lot of people complain about this film on message boards and horror forums. It's not anywhere near Silence of the Lambs in any way, but it's not a bad film at yeah. all. So that's Hannibal Rising, the unrated version from the Weinstein Company and Genius Products. It's available now at your local department store. <laughs> so give it a shot. You know, it, it's, it's two hours and ten minutes, eleven minutes out of your day. And I think that you'll find out that it's actually not as bad as everyone says it is. Yeah, so Hannibal Rising, now on DVD. And be sure to check us out every week over at Dead Pit. 
Gmail.com. A special thank you goes out to our supporters on Patreon. The Patreon website has a complete archive of the Dead Pit Radio shows starting way back in 2005, in addition to all of the midweek shows archived, commentaries, all that good stuff. If you're interested, and we appreciate all the support, go to www.patreon.com backslash into the dead pit. Tiers start as low as $1 per month.